Welcome to yoga. Meet me in Samasti Tihi, standing tall, with your hands together at heart center. Close your eyes and find your breath in and out through your nose. What if I told you that inside yourself lies the truest, most perfect version of you? A line from one of my favorite books called The Art of Possibility says that Michelangelo is often quoted as having said that inside every block of stone or marble dwells a beautiful statue. One need only to remove the excess material to reveal the work of art within. So instead of trying to change or build, let's use this next flow to chip away at the stone and get rid of whatever's in the way so that you may shine. This is your time. Blink your eyes open. Reach your arms overhead into mountain pose. Then grab onto your left wrist and dive to the right for a side body stretch, stretching from your left heel through your left hand. Come back to center and switch your grip, dive to the left. Stretching from your right heel through your right hand. Come back to center, mountain pose, inhale. Mini back bend as you exhale, bend your elbows open, lift up through your heart, and as you inhale, find mountain pose. Chair plane as you exhale, sit back into your hips. Arms reaching back with your palms facing down, roll your shoulders open, set your gaze. Deep in your breath, and shift your weight into your right foot. Lifting your left heel off the floor. Next, in one smooth motion, lift up into one leg mountain pose with your left knee lifting. And if you're feeling strong, try straightening out your left leg. Big breath in. As you breathe out, step your left foot back into a low lunge. Then reach your right hand high for a dragonfly. Keep your left hand firmly planted down into the mat as you stretch up through your right fingertips for your transition to a wild thing. With your weight in your left hand, step your right foot back as if you were going to a side plank, then step it back further and catch behind your left leg. Lift up to your hips, open through your heart, and reach your right arm towards the front of your space, opening up through your body. Big breath in. As you breathe out, transition to a high plank and hold for one inhale. Chaturanga as you exhale, elbows graze your ribs. Upward facing dog on your breath in, open through your heart, roll your shoulders open, then downward facing dog as you breathe out, send it back. Next inhale, look up, bend your knees. Exhale, step your feet to touch top of your mat for halfway lift, breathe in and forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, come all the way up, grab your left wrist at the top, and as you exhale, dive to the right. Inhale, back to center, switch your grip, as you exhale, dive to the left. Inhale, back to center, mini back bend as you exhale. Inhale to mountain pose. Exhale, chair plane. Sit down nice and low. Shift your weight into your left foot. Hold and breathe here, lifting your right heel up off the ground. When you're ready, smooth and controlled, rise up one leg mountain pose, right knee lifting. Find your balance. And with just as much control, step your right foot back into your low lunge. Firmly plant your right hand down onto your mat. Reach your left hand high for your dragonfly. And from here, transition to your wild thing. Step your left foot back and behind. Catch yourself and open up. Wild thing has that right leg nice and straight as you lift up through your hips. Stretch through your left arm.
Then slowly transition back to your high plank and hold for one inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Vinyasa through to your downward facing dog. In this down dog, hold and breathe to find your breath so that we may flow one breath, one movement, chipping away the excess stone. So from your downward facing dog, Inhale, look up, bend your knees. Exhale, step your feet to touch at the top of your mat for halfway lift. Breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, rise, mountain pose, and grab your left wrist at the top as you exhale, dive to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, dive to the left. Inhale to center for a mini back bend as you exhale. Inhale to mountain. Exhale, chair plane. Shift your weight into your right foot. Lift your left heel up as you inhale, rise up, one leg mountain pose, left knee lifting, then exhale, hands to the mat, step your left foot back into your low lunge. Dragonfly breath in. Then step it back as you breathe out for your wild thing. Inhale as you open up into your wild thing, then exhale, transition to your high plank and hold for one breath in. Chaturanga as you breathe out. Upward facing dog. Send it back to downward facing dog and right away, inhale, look up. Exhale, step your feet to touch top of the mat for halfway lift and forward fold. Inhale to mountain, grab your left wrist, exhale, dive to the right. Back to center, switch your grip, dive to the left. Inhale mountain to mini back bend. Mountain pose to chair plane. Shift your weight into your left foot, right heel lifts. Inhale, one leg mountain pose, right knee lifting. As you exhale, step it back into your low lunge. Setting up your dragonfly, inhale as your left arm reaches high. Exhale as you step your left foot back into your wild thing. Hold for one inhale. Exhale, transition to high plank and hold as you breathe in. Chaturanga as you breathe out. Upward facing dog, send it back to downward facing dog. For one big breath in, big breath out. And from here, lower your forearms down to your mat for a dolphin dog. Continue breathing calm, smoothly, and deeply with your forearms parallel with each other like the number 11. Yogi hands strong through your fingers, but now the base is all the way through to your elbows. If it helps, walk your feet in a little bit closer. Keep your hips lifting up high. Three, two, next is down dog. One, come back to your downward facing dog. And inhale to reach your right leg high. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right elbow and hold for three, two, one. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Three, two, one. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, tap your right knee to your left elbow and hold or come all the way through to a fallen triangle. Three, two, one. Inhale to reach your right leg high. Exhale, step it through to a low lunge and rise up into a one leg mountain pose. Left knee lifting, settle into eagle pose. Left leg over, left arm under. Compress everything together, deep in your breath. Then keep your eagle arms as they are, slowly unravel your legs and drive your left heel back for an eagle-armed airplane. And use strength to keep your hips square, but your back leg is lifting. For Shiva squats, inhale here. Exhale, bend both knees, tapping your left knee behind your right. Inhale to straighten your legs. Exhale, Shiva squat, bend both knees. One more time, inhale to straighten. Exhale, Shiva squat. Now this time, straighten, unravel your arms, finding your full expression of airplane or warrior three arms for three, two, 
One, step your left foot back, find Skandasana at the back of your mat, straightening out your right leg. Play with the version of Skandasana that serves you. For an added challenge, for some binding practice, place your left hand down and reach your right arm high, twisting open through your chest. Add a half bind by wrapping your right arm around behind you and hold or add the full bind by wrapping your left arm around your shin. Knuckles coming to your hips so that maybe your hands can touch. You can clasp fingers, wrists, or just work your hands towards each other. Wherever you are, shoulders roll open and this bind will have you twisting open to the right. Three, two, one. Release your bind. Walk your hands forward into a low lunge at the top of your mat and rise up to a one leg mountain pose. Left knee lifting. Set up a tree pose. The sole of your left foot on your left calf or inner thigh. Bring your hands together at heart center. Find your drishti. Calm your breath. Feel yourself firmly root down through your right foot. You're welcome to stay here or add a big toe hold, using it, the two piece fingers of your left hand to grab onto your left big toe. First, straighten your left heel out in front of you, and then open your left leg up to the side. Easier said than done, I get it. If you fall down, give yourself grace as you come back in. Three, two, one, release, find mountain pose, inhale, exhale, forward fold for halfway lift, then vinyasa, make your way through to downward facing dog, however you'd like to get there. For the left side, reach your left leg high, breath in, exhale, tap left knee, left elbow and hold, three, two, one, inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Three, two, one. Inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, tap left knee, right elbow and hold or move into your fallen triangle for three, two, one. Inhale, reach your left leg high. As you exhale, step it through to a low lunge then rise up into a one-legged mountain pose, right knee lifting and settle into your eagle pose. Right leg over, right arm under. Breathe and compress as you ground down into this pose. And keep your eagle arms as they are and slowly unravel your legs and drive your right heel back for an eagle-armed airplane. Steady your gaze. Find your strength. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat, right knee behind your left. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, straighten, last time. Exhale, Shiva squat. You're doing great. This time, straighten and open up into your full airplane or warrior three if you did on the other side for three, two, one. Step it back. Find Skandasana at the back of your mat. Let your left leg straighten out. Now, if you do on the other side, work on that bind here on this side. First, plant your right hand down and reach your left arm high, twisting your upper body open to the left. Add the half bind by wrapping your left arm around behind you. Knuckles come to your hips. Then add the full bind by wrapping your right arm around your shin. Bringing your right hand to your hips. Maybe your fingers touch. You can grab wrists. Or your hands just reach towards each other. Roll both shoulders open. The full bind is twisting you further to the left. Wherever you are, you're here for three, two, one. Walk your hands forward to a low lunge at the front of your mat and then rise up into a one leg mountain pose, right knee lifting and set up your tree. Firmly root down through your left foot. 
stand tall, the crown of your head. Breath is calm and steady in between. If you added the big toe hold on the other side, do so here, taking your two piece fingers of your right hand to grab onto your big toe. First, straighten your leg out in front of you and then take your time as you open your right heel up towards the side. Three, two, one. Slowly release, find mountain pose as you inhale then forward fold as you exhale. Halfway lift to lengthen your spine, then plant your hands, step your feet back, and make your way back to downward facing dog, however you'd like to get there. For half pigeon, bring your right knee to your right wrist, ankle to your left. Sink into your hips and find the variation of half pigeon that calls out to you today. Then slowly rise, plant your hands down, reach your right leg high into a three leg down dog, then bend your right knee open and hang out here or flip your dog. Making your way back to downward facing dog, this time set up half pigeon on the left side. Find a similar variation, similar depth that you took on your right side. And give yourself this moment to truly rest, to truly settle in and stop straining for a deeper stretch. Because it's in the rest that you cultivate the strength to shine again. Now rise up. Coming into your three-legged down dog with your left knee lifting. Bend your left knee open. And if you did on the other side, take flip dog. Then make your way back to downward facing dog and notice how you feel. Walk your feet towards the front of your mat. And separate your feet about hip distance for gorilla pose. One at a time, slide your palms underneath your feet and take the time to squish your hands, your wrists. Release the tension in the back of your neck. Then release your hands, shake it out. And come to lie down on your back setting up for a bridge pose with your feet flat on your mat, arms down by your sides. Tuck your tailbone up to the ceiling and slowly lift your hips up as you press your knees forward, hold and breathe. Three, two, one, slowly lower your hips back down and just rest here for a moment, allowing your hips to settle in. We'll take a second set of bridge pose today, or you can take a full wheel if it's in your practice. So wherever you are, take your time as you set it up and then take your time as you move into the pose that serves you. Three, two, one. Lower back down. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open for Supta Baddha Konasana with one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. With your eyes closed, imagine that you are breathing in a healing, 
cleansing light. And you're breathing out the dusty, dark shadows. Inhale the light. Exhale the dark. And with each breath, your body glows lighter and brighter. And continue with this visualization as you pull both knees into your chest. Hold on to your shins for full wind pose. add on by extending your left leg straight down on your mat for a supine spinal twist pull your right knee across your body as you extend your right arm straight out from your side and breathe each breath in inviting more loving healing cleansing light to your body each breath out Releasing the darkness, the shadows, and the excess stone to reveal the masterpiece within. Come back to center and switch legs. Extend your right leg long, pull your left knee in. Then take your time as you draw your left knee across your body and open up your left arm, settle into your twist. The light that is within you is an abundant resource. It's like fire. And if you hold fire, give it to somebody else who doesn't have any, you won't have any less. And the light that you shine is the same. So spread that light far and wide. Make your way back to center, find full wind pose. Grabbing onto your shins, hold your knees to your chest, and feel free to take any other poses at this moment, anything else that your body is calling out for. When you're ready, meet me in final Shavasana, with your legs out long. Take up space. Close your eyes and relax into place. Imagine that your body was an empty vessel, like a bottle. And imagine a bright, luminous source of light pouring into the top of your head, flowing all the way down to collect at the soles of your feet. Feel that light and the warmth in your toes, through your heels, filling up to your ankles. Visualize as your feet become bright with light and this light continues to fill you up through your shins and calves, past your knees to your thighs, filling up to your hips. Feel your legs warm with this loving, 
beautiful light. Feel that light continue to fill your body into your hips, swirling around into your back and abdomen, cleansing and healing the organs within. Visualize that light and the brightness coming up to your chest, swirling around your heart and lungs, bringing light to your ribs, all the way up to your shoulders, and then it spills down your arms to collect in your hands. Feel the warmth in your palms, your fingers, until your hands are fully filled with this light. Feel it move up through your wrists, your forearms, your elbows. Filling your upper arms, all the way up to your shoulders, and feel that light filling more and more into your chest, shoulders, upper back, coming all the way up to your neck, swirling around your neck and throat. To your jaw and mouth and feel that bright loving energy make its way past your ears filling the back of your head tingling on your scalp and coming past your nose as it slowly fills every area of your body, including your eyes, and your forehead, and feel it finally fill that last space, the center of your forehead, your third eye. Your whole body is bright, flowing with this loving, beautiful light, a healing, cleansing light. Notice how you feel and what you feel as your body radiates in light. You're here to shine. This is your time. You're welcome to stay here for as long as you'd like. If you are ready to come out now, invite movement to your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. And make your way onto your side and press yourself up to seated. Bring your hands together at heart center. And we'll finish with a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. To be a star, you must shine your own light. Follow your path. And don't worry about the darkness, for that is when stars 
shine brightest. From the light in me to the light in you, namaste.